talk about how you'd go about entering um, scientific notation onto your calculator. So to begin with, I'm going to clear the memory of all previous formatting that might have existed. Yes, I pushed the on and the clear button at the same time. That removes all formatting, resets all setting to default, and makes it so that anything I do will go back to being normal the way I'm used to being, or the, used to this thing being. Now, um, if you want to enter this into the calculator, the first thing you have to do is, well, start with 2.89. And then the way you enter this times 10 to the third power is not by typing it in the way you'd think, but using this EE function right here, which is enter exponent. And since it's the second function, enter it like that. 2.89 times 10 to the power of 3. So this is should appear like this on the calculator. And if we convert this, 1, 2, 3, that would be the way it looks properly. Viewer, go ahead and try this one. I will convert it to regular notation using the calculator also. Hopefully when you type this into your calculator, you get the same. Oops. There we go. Let's see, 41000. All right, so if we want to multiply these by each other, if you type it in exactly as shown here, it will probably work for multiplication. For other functions such as addition, subtraction, this will probably cause an order of operations if you do not include parentheses. Parentheses are critical to ensure that this function doesn't get mixed up with this one or whatever. So, Here's how you do it on a calculator. Open parentheses, 2.89 times 10 to the third power, close parentheses, times 4.10 times 10 to the fourth. Again, close the parentheses that were opened earlier. Press enter, and you get that big long number, 11849, and then four zeros. You put some commas in there and whatever. Uh, three sig figs, three sig figs, so I suppose we would round to three significant figures. But since you're supposed to use scientific notation for very large and very small numbers, let's convert that to scientific notation. Now you can do this manually. Let's see, 1.18 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or you can have your calculator do it for you. Simply, Note the location of this function, SCI. It's a second function. So oh, activate section function, second function, go to it. This is floating decimal, which means just regular number. I select SCI for scientific notation, press enter to confirm selection, and now the calculator will give all output in the form of scientific notation. Check it out, 1.18 times 10 to the eighth. Right? After all, you'd round it to three six figs, one, two, third significant figure here, 1.18 times 10 to the eighth. Then I suppose on an exam, I'd scribble this out just to make clear that that's not my final answer. Um, once in this mode, the calculator will give all output in the form of scientific notation. Even here, you can convert the number four to scientific notation, four times 10 to the zero with power or 0.4 is four times 10 to the negative first power, etc. And it will continue doing this until you return it to its regular thing. I should show you what I did there. It will continue doing this until you go to second function science again, return to floating decimal and select. Also of note, another way to do this, whatever. So suppose, and by the way, it will continue to get scientific notation for numbers too large to fit on the screen, but nonetheless, uh, back to this. So now it's in scientific notation mode again. Another way to get it out of scientific notation mode, simply press on and clear at the same time. Memory is cleared and defaults are restored. It will go back to showing things the way you're, you're probably used to seeing it. Okay. Now, uh, just a little brief bit. What about doing this on the Casio? Similar, there's your parentheses buttons. Uh, the difference, though, is you're, instead of EE, it looks like you got this function here. So 2 point, oops, let's turn the, the thing on. 2.89 times 10 to the third power gives 2,890. So that should work just fine. Um, for calculations, likewise, 2.89 
times 10 to the third, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, 4.10 times 10 to the fourth. I opened parentheses earlier, now I close parentheses, gives a likewise large answer. Um, I'm sure there is a way to make it show scientific notation on here. Oh, there we go, Second shift setup. I see seven SCI. Scientific notation, yes. Okay, oh, there we go, there's scientific notation. And it looks like, yep, all outputs given a scientific notation. Let's see, I imagine you must turn that off by going back to normal, number eight. Oh, there you go. One or two, yep, so we go like that. We notice, yep, it's back to regular normal usage. Okay, so I know there's various other models of calculator out there, but it all goes the same way. Just make sure that whenever you do scientific notation calculations, make sure, above all else, that it is in parentheses to avoid errors from order of operations, and make sure you only enter it in the way that I was showing you, 2.89. Do not touch the multiplication button, second function EE, and then whatever power it is, in this case, 3. All right, there we go. Happy calculations and happy studies.